Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching the Avatar. So today we're jumping back into Avatar The Last Airbender for Season 1, Episode 14, The Fortune Teller. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Wow. We're doing tricks for you. Flying fish. Oh my god. Oh. Sound like you you look like you wanted to say something. Hey, where's the fishing line? Oh, I didn't think you would need it, Sokka. Oh, you made, you a, made friendship a friendship bracelet. Tangled. I made you a necklace, Katara. Wow. Not since you lost your other one. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Sang. I love it. <laughs> That's all right. Look at the way he runs. So, how do I look? You mean all of you or just your neck? I mean, because both look great. <laughs> Smoochie, someone's in love. I oh! What is growling like that? Someone's being attacked by a platypus bear. Oh my god. Whoa. Nice day, isn't it? Make noise or run off! No, play dead. He'll lose interest. <laughs> Close one. <laughs> That's hilarious. They're all accurate, Ooh. but for different animals, right? Whoa there! <gasps> Appa. Oh ah! my god. He made him poop. Lucky for you we came along. Thanks. But everything was already under control. Not to worry. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. Wow. wow. No, Aunt Wu. Wu. She's the fortune teller. <laughs> oh, and Aunt Wu said if I met any travelers to give them this. Wow. Scavenger hunt. What do you know? An umbrella. That proves oh. <laughs> you can't really tell the future. Look. I'm gonna predict the future now. It's going to keep drizzling. See? Ah! Not everyone has the gift, Sokka. Who <laughs> is expecting you? Expecting you. <sighs> My name is Meng. Oh? <laughs> Fix your face. Some tea or some of Aunt Wu's special bean curd puffs? I guess. Don't be modest. They're huge. Well, Aang, it's very nice to meet you. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Meng. Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. Oh. He's going to give me a rare panda lily. That's so romantic. No. Oh. Enjoy your snack. <laughs> now, who's next? Don't be shy. I guess that's me. Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. Yeah, dumb stuff like that. Well, I gotta find a bathroom. Almost quick, oh, boy. So smooth. Do you use moisturizer? Actually, I have this special seaweed lotion. I could get you some if you want. The man you're going to marry. Tell me more. I can see that he's a very powerful bender. Looks like someone had a pretty good bathroom break. <laughs> when I was in there, I don't like even want to know. <laughs> Who's next? Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Oop. Most of it self-inflicted hilarious read my palms or anything i don't need to oh my god the avatar is future is the most reliable method of telling your fortune the bones never lie go on pick one i've never seen this before bruh <gasps> oh my you're 
destiny. This is incredible. You will be involved in a great battle. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I knew that already. But did it say anything about a girl? <laughs> you want to know about love? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, but I didn't see it. That's hilarious. Aww. Yeah, yeah, I know that already. Trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. It's quite really? generic. Thank quite generic cookie well. she just read. You're wow. just saying that because you're going to make yourself unhappy your whole life. That wow. That's crazy. My life will be calm and happy and you're joyful. You're doing it already. Self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. What's with the sky? Like? We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the clouds to predict the fate of the whole village. That cloud wow. kind of looks like a fluffy bunny. The fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. Oop. Do you even <laughs> hear yourself? The cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makapu will remain dormant for another year, or if it will erupt. I can't believe you would trust your lives to that crazy old woman's superstition. Shh, she's coming. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, Yay! Don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Huh? Sure, I guess. Hey, Katara, oh. don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? <laughs> he did not shove her away. <laughs> That's the village will not be destroyed by the volcano this year. Wow. Destroyed. Destroyed. Uh, there's something I want to tell you. I like you, but more than normal. Never mind. She didn't hear any of that. It's like when George said it to the deaf woman. Yeah. Hi, Aunt Wu. Sorry to bother you. Anytime. About this man I'm supposed to marry? Ah, oh, you want another reading? Yes, please. I can't believe all these saps. I'm gonna prove Aunt Wu's predictions are nonsense. Hey, you. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? Yeah, she said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. Every day. Then of course it's gonna come true! Really? You think so? I'm so excited. <laughs> so inflicted. You'll have your third great grandchild before quiet Jesus. passing away in your sleep. Jesus. Is enough information for you? Wow. Thanks, Aunt Wu. Oh wait, one more. our whole life. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's kicking up dirt like with the like pig pen. Ladies, right? Yeah. Some stuff. You've come to the right place. What can I do you for? Oh yeah, she's crazy. Y'all talking about the wrong girl. All you have to do now is not mess it up. Well, how do I do that? The number one mistake nice guys like you make? Being too nice. You have to act aloof. Like you don't really care one way or the other. Well, okay. Hey, Ang. I was wondering. See you later. <laughs> wow. That kid is good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye now. You'll be fine. Oh my god. All right, what is it? Should I eat a mango or a papaya for breakfast tomorrow? Oh, hey, Katara. I didn't see Watch you. him, okay. smooth dude. That's okay. I'm busy with my own stuff. Hey, Katara. Didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, papaya. Uh huh. Would you like some? You know me. I don't really care what I eat. What? Hey, See you later. Excuse me. Where can a guy find one of those things? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you're dragging me all the way up here. He is ridiculous. Flower. Not wow. just any flower, a panda lily. My heart is telling me to get this flower. And Aunt Wu said if I trusted my heart, I would be with the one I love. What? Don't tell me you believe in that stuff too. Well, Aunt Wu hasn't been wrong yet. Wow, plenty of them. I see that Whoa. volcano's acting now. Oh no. Aunt Wu was wrong. What can the airbender do about that? Safe. We've got to warn them. There's no time to walk. Grab on. Ah! Oh, ho. yeah, that stick is sick. Can you believe she won't let me in? <laughs> the business I've given her? But she doesn't even pay for any of it. I know, but exactly. Still. Well, After all the business away. I've given her. Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. Everyone, that volcano is going to blow any second. 
Aunt Wu was wrong! Yeah, yeah, we know you don't believe in Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason Lover. If you want to, maybe you'll listen to me. You are all in danger, and we have to get out of here. You can't rely on Aunt Wu's prediction. You have to take fate into your own hands. Nice. Look, that. can your science explain why it rains? Yes! <laughs> yes, it can! <laughs> can your science explain why it rains? They That's hilarious. We're taking fate in our own hands. First, I need to borrow Aunt Wu's cloud reading book. Oh, he's gonna use the airbending to make new clouds. Oh! Oh! I didn't see you there. You don't like me, do you? Of course I like you. But not the way I like you. It's just really hard when you like someone, but they don't think of you that way. I know what you mean. She's beautiful, by the way. Huh? That water tribe girl. And her hair seems so manageable. <laughs> Don't worry. You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely fall for you. I know it. Appa's gonna make the water and air. So between the two of us, we ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. Wow. I found it. Oh, wow. There it is. Something's happening in the clouds. That's very strange. It shouldn't. Oh my. Wow. Is that what it is? A skull? We can still save the village if we act fast. Sokka has a plan. Lava is going to flow downhill to this spot. If we can dig a deep enough trench, we can channel all the lava away from the village. Oh, apple's wow. Wow. You're up on the trenches, guys. Okay, nice. Oh. Dig faster, dig faster. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Avatar can do something now. The only earth bender left. The master water bender that didn't stop the smoke. Oh my god. Wow! Insane. Man, sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Now she. Her eyes are gonna change. I suppose he is. Wow. Look, at, bro. You saved them. Look By at the way, that. We kind of borrowed your book. So you messed with the clouds, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Very. That's gonna protect them from the next no one. Offense, but I hope it might. Everyone a lesson of but Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed, and it wasn't. She wow. was. Wow. Wow! It's okay, Sokka. Everything's gonna be all right. Sokka's gonna get a twitch. Of course, right? Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your shape own destiny. Your own. Love it. Love Goodbye, it. Hi, everyone. It was so nice to meet you. Take care. Floozy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ah, yes. That was good, that was good. But I uh, man, I, I love the way they set up that episode because the whole theme of it was like your fortune is really in your own hands at all times. You right. know what I'm saying? And they're like the thing is, even if that it's your fortune, you still have to act out like you know what I'm saying? It's like yes, it your the script for your life may have been written, but you still have to act out each of those parts to make sure they go according to plan, right? So like, yeah, I, I really like that episode. Like how they how they kind of told you what was gonna happen, but also empowered you enough to let you know that you can change or you can decide what actually happens. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen to you, you you make it happen. You, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. Wow, that was a great episode. <laughs>
Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh my god. Now Katara and Aang are gonna look at each other like love birds. And the thing is, I love the fact that Sokka, like Sokka, can't help himself. You know what I'm saying? He just has that one track mind. He it, he always has to be right. He 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 wasn't more concerned about saving the village. He's like the love is coming. Aunt Wu was wrong. Like that's <laughs> instead of instead of yelling mayday mayday, the man's like. Just, just in case you guys know, just so you guys know, Aunt, Aunt Wu was, was wrong. wrong. Yes, the lava's coming. Yes, the children, the the women, the children, everybody that lives in the village is in danger. But the most important thing I want to get across is that Aunt Wu was wrong. What he really wants to get across is the fact that he's not a he's not a self he's not a self he's not a wound self inflicting klutz. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But clearly, that's exactly what he is. <laughs> oh, Saka. But I mean, it's crazy. Like, we did hear the prediction of, of him being in a great battle that will des between good and evil that will decide the fate of the world. And, like, it's crazy to think that at his tender age, he's like, bro, that's old news to me. You know what I'm saying? I know I have to save the world. I know I am Superman in this story. But nah, man, I, I really want Katara. And now Kat and the thing is, when even when the... When Aunt Wu said it was going to be a powerful bender, that was the first thing I said. I was like, oh, man, so, like, it's definitely going to be a bender. Obviously, I, I we assume it's going to be Aang. But I'm like, a powerful bender. Like, that's not just anybody, right? Right. And then when... Like, I'm surprised that she didn't catch on when Aunt Wu said it. She had to hear it from uh, Sokka, Sokka for her to catch on. Yeah. But I like the way they, like... They're not interested in each other at the same point. They're, like, kind of inching towards it. You know what I'm saying? Because you saw it building for the first time that he met her. You know what I'm saying? But also, he's got... A lot more on his plate than just his love life right he has exactly. literally the world he literally has the world to save on his plate before any anything else you know what i'm saying wow mm, that was a good one that was a really good episode man another great episode of avatar and can't wait to get on to the next one so thank y'all for joining us for the latest episode of avatar the last airbender be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to let us know what you thought about the episode down in our comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon to for our full length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Greg for Beauty and the Beard. We'll sign up until the next one. Peace.